Hey, my name is Fred Hutchison with PY. Right now we're going to look at how to disassemble a propeller and determine what pitch it's set at. First off, before you do anything, you need to determine the rotation of the propeller. As in a previous video, determine the rotation of the propeller, whether it is right or left hand rotation. For a right hand rotation, put the blades in the feathered position and grab the trailing edge of the blades and move the blades to port. If the blades stop, the straight leading edge of the blades stop to angle forward and to starboard, it is indeed set up for a right hand rotation. At that point, you know it's right hand, so bring the blades back to the feathered position. And then the next step is to draw a line in between the central hub that is attached to the shaft and the spinners. With the blades in the feathered position, if I draw a line in between these two parts, I have a reference point so that if I bump something, I've got a reference point to come back to. Once you got your reference point, start taking it apart. Take off the six or the, the three screws that hold the zinc in place. And you want to take off the six end cap screws that hold the propeller together. Once all six of the screws are out of the propeller, the next step is to remove the end cap and blades all as one piece. If you grab the blades and end cap and just slide it off, all as one piece. Rotate the blades, set it down on the hard someplace where you can get back to it. Next, look back at your mark. Is my mark aligned or did I bump it? Align the, the marks back up and then you're going to look inside the propeller to determine what letter setting it is. For example, in this situation, we're on the letter E. The letter E aligns with the Y mark. So we now know with a right hand rotation, the Y mark, this dot right here, is set at the letter E. The next step, four to six screws will hold this together depending on the size of the propeller. Take three of them apart, three of the screws out first before you take the fourth one out. That way things don't fall apart on you when you disassemble it. Once you get the fourth screw out, the two halves will come apart in your hands. Again, set those down into the side. At this point, what we want to do is draw a mark, for example, in this situation from the letter K onto the cone gear. So I have a reference point of where that cone gear is set and where it's going to go back in. At that point, pull out the cone gear marking that tooth and you'll see the X mark, the groove in the bottom of the cone gear. In this situation, it was actually going into the letter K on the central hub. So if you see right here, you can actually see the groove as you pull it out, marking the setting. So we know that this propeller was set for a right-hand rotation, X equaled K, Y equaled E, which is 20 degrees right hand. 